What's good, Raider Nation? Today, I want to talk to you guys about Jonathan Abram. Now, uh, before we get into this, I want to just let you guys know, I've been super busy, and uh, what I've been doing is I've been watching the film. I've watched the game, I've watched every play about three to four times. I'm trying to focus in on uh, each and, and every single one of these players. I'm going to release a podcast tomorrow morning, breaking down and just giving us my opinions on every position, every player, and just going over that. But that'll drop tomorrow morning, so you guys can see, you guys can hear that tomorrow. I just wanted to drop this video today. Uh, Jonathan Abrams, one of my favorite players, you know, I really, really like his game. When I watch him on tape, I see a very smart, high IQ player. So I wanted to just discuss with you guys my opinions and some of the film that I was able to see of Abram. And we're gonna start with this very first play right here because it's the first play of the game and he's already making an impact. So with that, let's get right into it. So the first thing I notice is the offense is gonna go into motion and the linebacker safeties all start shifting downwards towards that motion. The second thing I notice is number 82 right here on the screen is going to pull and try kicking out Cleveland Farrell who does a great job taking him on. Now Farrell does get tripped up and he falls but Jonathan Abram actually makes the tackle. If you guys focus in, he trips the running back up. Markel Lee cleans it up. But this is the very first play, and Abram's already making these reads. He's already doing his job, containing the outside. These are the types of things I want to see from a young rookie safety coming up in the box, uh, making these plays. And I want to move into the second play because the second play uh, shows his leadership and his communication skills. Now, here's Abram again, and the Rams do shift just like the very first play. Look at Abram already communicating with number 26, saying get up there on the line of scrimmage, the strong side has shifted. He looks at Trayvon Mullen and tells him something as well. But that's very important, just the ability to let both guys know, hey, the strong side shifted, you're doing this or that. Hey, I'm doing this, so you're doing this or that to Mullen as well. And then not only be able to communicate with the guys, right? That's huge, you have to be able to communicate. So not only is Abram able to communicate, but then 61, who is the Rams right guard, comes in and, and pushes Abram, but Abram gives it right back to him. Now, keep in mind, Abram's in the dirt, so it might look a little bit uh, like he you know, flies back a little bit more than he should have, but he's in the dirt, so it definitely makes a big difference. But overall, it's a nice play. It tells you a lot about Jonathan Abram, his leadership, the qualities, and the traits he has on the field. Moving into the next play, one of the things I really like about Abram is the fact he's in the box. This is first and 10, and the Raiders have that faith in him to play man-to-man -man on number 82. I don't know if that's a receiver or a tight end, but Abram puts his ass down, and I love that. You know, he's a hitter. Uh, he's physical. Not only does he put down 82, but then the receiver that catches the ball, Abram runs full speed to deliver the hit on, on that guy as well. So these are the types of things I really, really like about Jonathan Abram. He brings uh, not only that leadership, but he also brings that physicality. And I want to see him continue to build on that. You know, right now, as a rookie, the game's probably so much faster for him than he's used to playing against another team, right? But that game experience is so valuable because he's only going to get better and better and the game's only going to slow down. Uh, I want to show you guys this next play as well. Now, this is a third and eight. They ended up getting the first now, but uh, I want to point something out to you guys on this play because there's a lot of positives within this play. Now, without having the all 22, it's hard to tell whose guy this was. He does catch the ball near Abram, but it's not about the fact that the guy caught the ball. Uh, it's about this camera angle that they showed on the broadcast. You're going to notice that Abram's going to go for the ball. Okay, you see it right there. He tries punching the ball out, and he takes a second punch right there. He missed, but the fact that he's able to go for the ball shows so much about the awareness and the IQ of Jonathan Abram you know he's almost able to get the ball out and then he still continues to swat at it so the fact that he has the awareness to force the ball to be incomplete it speaks a lot about where he's at in his developmental his awareness his IQ and on this very last play he doesn't do anything special but when a player catches the ball you best believe that Jonathan Abram is going to come and lay the wood on whoever catches the ball and I love that about his game. You know, he's like a missile. He's just going to run full speed and throw his body out there. What I saw from Abram, I loved it. Obviously, he still has a lot of things to improve on, but he's just a rookie and this is only his first game. Now, this was not against the, the Rams starting offense, which would have made a big difference. But still, as a team, the, the team he just played right now is the best group of players he's ever played in his whole entire life. That group of players that were on the Rams could be any college team. 
and the fact that he was able to play against those players and still perform pretty well speaks volumes to the type of player he will be in the future now he needs to keep getting stronger improving on his craft and just his overall game i really liked what i saw from him but what do you guys think about abram let me know in the comments below please like share comment subscribe if you guys are not subscribers i really appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys next time with the game film breakdown